one coat so far of Winter Mint by Revlon and it's the scenty one and um, it was very sheer on the first coat. This is two coats now and um, my thumb wasn't too bad but uh, I'm definitely going to need three coats because um, yeah sort of unless you put it on very very thick it's, it's too sheer but it looks nice. I wouldn't normally be able to do this with the camera and without it being too dark but at least since I dropped it we can actually see what we're looking at. Three coats now. Four coats now. I've had to put four coats on because it was too sheer. I like it though. It smells nice too. Minty smell. just realised I've had three mint nail polishes in, in a row for the three weeks. But um, and unusually for most scented nail polishes, this one, I could smell the mint in it when I applied it. So it actually smelt like mint when I was applying it. And usually scented nail polishes smell like nail polish when you apply them. And then when, it's, when they're dry, they smell minty. But this one actually smells minty now. I mean, it smelt minty when I was applying it, like tonight. Oh, I get it right. You have to forgive me. It's my... Yeah, never mind. But yes, it's, um... We'll talk about it in the day, hopefully, when I get the webcam. But at least the camera's recording a, a brighter since I dropped it. It sort of put itself right. It must have done something to the sensor. But I can't stay, take still images with it now. They go to, they're too overexposed. Whereas before they were just right, but the video was too underexposed. So if one thing goes right, the other goes wrong. But I think I'd rather have the video right because I can always get. I use the thumbnails from the video, which I can do with this old camera. I've been trying to show the flex in this with on the super macro setting, but um, I don't know. Normally I wouldn't be able to do this in here as it's so dark outside, but since I dropped the camera, I know I keep saying it, but it records now better. So with, yeah, I no, won't need to say it again, but the flex aren't showing up. It has a little minute, not totally minute, but small glis, glit, uh, sparkly glitter blue in this, but... Oh, <coughs> Right, we're pretty washed out in here, aren't we? So let me put the light out. And I've gone, we've gone to white screen. I got this from um, Sainsbury's, and I'm. Oh, am I saying that? No, it's not doing a haul, am I? Yeah. Just, um, <coughs> on. Right, the light is on now. And uh, does that? Uh, it, who, trying to find something that matches. Who wants to help me, Delaney? Perhaps. She doesn't match though, does she? We've got white screen again. As soon as I, it was, it was fine. And as soon as I put the webcam on and to record, it goes to white screen. Fleur, are you going to help? No. <coughs> Perhaps Gemini here can. No, that's not exactly the right colour, is it? Uh, never mind. Straight into it. Oh, come on, come back. Black. Now it's gone black. Oh, never mind. I'm hoping you can see this. <coughs> uh, Winter Mint Scented by Revlon. I said all I needed to say in the um, videos last night. I'm just trying to show you the brush now. And these little small <coughs> sparkles of flecks of blue glitter in there, <coughs> they do show up. But it's not as impressive as I thought it would be, and it took four coats. I can smell the mint, and funnily enough, you can actually smell the... I could smell the mint when I was applying it. It's, um, it still smells like nail polish, but I could definitely smell... The, when you sniff the thing, it smells like nail polish. But when I was applying it, I could definitely smell the mint. I doubt that's picking up the flex with the light. I have done some close-up ones with the camera. Since I dropped this camera, it must have jogged the sensor back to normal, how, or how it was when I first got it, when it was second hand anyway, and it takes still pictures, like in normal light conditions, it takes them, they come out completely white, you can't see anything, 
but videos it does fine and then it I dropped it a few times and after one time I dropped it I could take still images and they'd come out not too bad at all but videos came out dark so in this sort of light condition it would be so dark you'd hardly see anything but now it, it does normal videos again but it's I've got problem taking still pictures I have to take still pictures in a very dim light and then it come it is show up I'm sorry if I'm shouting it's anxiety making me shout because everything's going wrong again as soon as one thing goes right something else goes wrong Anyhow, this is called Winter Mint. Tells you on there, and it is—it's nice. It's a nice nail polish. It's just a shame it takes so many coats to cover. But see how it goes on throughout the week. I do my usual thing in different lighting, in different backgrounds, in different places, like some in Starbucks. And I try and remember to do some on the bus if there's enough. Well, I don't have to worry about not being enough light now because I can use this now, even in quite dim light. So that is one good thing. And um, and then hopefully I might be able to do a bath time at the end of the week. I did I last week, but I ran out of space on the mem memory card, so I can't even talk properly. My voice goes, oh, I can't talk properly. With or no, the pictures just come, flickered into life and come back, so I can see myself on screen again. Hooray! There. So, can we see the little flecks in Oh, it's gone again. I wanted you to be able to see the little flecks in it, because it is very pretty. Oh dear, I wish I could be calm and free from anxiety so that I could do it. What about Ivy here? Does she match? I think she might, might match me a bit more, but we've gone blank. I can't see myself on screen again, so I, I don't know. Flo want to help me. This, I can see myself on screen. Amazing. This is the next day. The nail polish. And I never. I said, oh, I'm in Starbucks. I never even got to Starbucks yesterday. The traffic. I was stuck on the bus and the traffic jam. And if I had stayed on the bus, it would. Have, well, two and a half. I left. For a half hour journey. And it took two and a half or three hours, maybe longer. Because I got on the bus at 10 to 3, and I should have been there at 20 past. Um, and I usually get to Starbucks about 5. And then I get another bus at 6 to go somewhere else. And um, I had to end up getting, it was dark, about five quarter to 5, I got out of the bus. In the middle of nowhere, I had to walk along a verge, but traffic beeping at me. And I had to walk... A, about a mile, a couple of miles to get in, and I still got, and then I thought there's no point, so I, I wouldn't have got there in time anyway. So at five o'clock I saw another bus going the other way to another place where I wanted to go, so I, I got on that, and that wasn't so bad. And quite a long way down the road, we passed the other bus that was still stuck, in the, in the it hardly moved at all, over an hour later, yeah traffic. If more people used public transport there'd be less cars on the road and whenever I go in Lidl they say oh and if you, for your car I said no I don't I, I walk I don't drive and they look at me like what? And when I say I don't have a TV what? Are you human? Everybody sits in a car driving and then everybody sits down on a settee watching a television and that's what they do. Well, that's normal, isn't it? That's what everybody does. No, that is... Oh. Sorry, I, I don't mean to pontificate, but... You know. Oh, the poor environment. Anyway, no polish, yeah. It's chipped a bit there. But it's it's quite nice, not too badly, not too bad at all. 
Oh dear, I'm in one of my moods. I'm in one of my... <laughs> I can't help it. Before you want to condemn and criticise. And now I can't move on the bed for all the stuff. Saturday night after applying it Wednesday night and um, this hasn't lasted the week as you can see. It's quite nice though but I think the nearest colour to this that I've got is the green, no, lime aluminum by Maybelline, only that is better. I am a little disappointed with this one and the mint scent aroma does wear off after a while. I can still smell it very slightly so I'm trying to hurry to get it all in what I want to say quickly before it I don't want to make the video too long, but I like it, but it's not as nice as um, Lime Aluminum by Maybelline, that very old one. I did a review on it back l earlier this year, but it's in the greenery playlist anyway. Quick, quick update on the winter mint. Monday today, I applied it Wednesday, and um, it's not done well, I'm afraid. It's uh, chipped. I can't smell it minty. The mint smells worn off. I've never worn this one before, the Revlon scented winter mint. I've worn other scented Revlons, but not this particular one. And uh, the colour's nice, but not as nice as Lime Aluminum by Maybelline, which you, I don't probably can't buy anymore. So yeah, I'm at my friend's house, and um, I can actually do a bath time if I wanted to, because it's we've got the camera working, but this hasn't done well, has it? Anyway, it's bitter cold. It's bitter, ab bitter, absolutely bitterly cold in here. Even with that heat, it's... it's even with the heater on, it's very very inadequate here. It's a ramshackle house and it's cold. So yes, won't be much of a bath time. I'm using this in the bath today. Uh, it may be too steamy, but we've got a nice bit of foam. Yeah. Shame the nail polish didn't, doesn't look better. But there we go, kind of everything, I suppose. It's quite nice. I like the blue flex glitter in it. Yeah. So just shame it didn't last.